Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to one of my most popular series here on the Gotham Chess YouTube channel, Catching and Exposing Chess Cheaters. In this series, we identify people who are playing on chess.com in an unsavory fashion, and we either pair them against one another, or I take them on with the intention to get embarrassed or find a way to win. Now we use a couple of criteria to identify accounts that might be cheaters. Number one, they might have a brand new account. Number two, their win rate is absolutely insane, and it's usually in slower time controls. Number three, in the game itself, they usually take a very consistent amount of time to make moves. Yes, even very obvious ones. And so in today's video, my community found a cheater and I was able to actually defeat them in a series of two games. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's meet today's cheater. This person, Noar, Noar Loka, made their account yesterday. They have played 44 games of Rapid and they are 41 and three. With an accurate average, wow. This is a really bad cheater because they play perfectly. So they don't even know how to like incorporate some of their own moves. I'm actually very curious to see who, who managed to beat them. So I already have this account open. It's taking me quite a long time to find another one. <clears throat> oh, they lost to someone from their own country. Maybe they were playing against themselves. So this individual has won like 95% of their games and has an average accuracy of 96% in those games. That's higher than Magnus Carlsen and Hikaru Nakamura. Something's not exactly right. So what did I do? I paired them against myself in a 10 minute game. First, I had the white pieces. All right, D4, let's go. Ah, all right, <clears throat> London system. All right, so every move my opponent is gonna play is gonna come. I'm very curious what Stockfish wants to play against London, okay. Uh, knight f3 <clears throat> is considered a good move. Theory is like knight c6 here. Queen b, yeah, queen b6 is also a move. <clears throat> um, knight a3 here is a move, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Knight a3 is a move, I think. d5. Okay, so I'm gonna go knight b5, I think. To try to go knight c7. Knight a6 here should be played, because you have to stop knight c7. Yep. Uh, and uh, let's see, maybe c3 or a4. Maybe c, yeah, c3, and then I'll play for a4. <clears throat> Benji's bothering me. Okay. I guess, I guess opponent has bishop d7. Is Stockfish just going to win my... Is that the idea there? To take my knight? Hi, baby. Uh, your father is currently making content, so you're insignificant to me, okay? Actually, you're insignificant regardless, so... Um, b3 is a move. I play. Yeah, the, the, this person plays every move between, uh, they, play, they play every move relatively slowly. Um, so I've, I've got a nice bind here. I'm going to play bishop e2 or bishop d3. The thing is that it seems like now my opponent um, plays a little bit, you know, they, this is when they start booting up the, uh, the ye old engine. What is queen d8? That move looks ridiculous. Okay, bishop d3. I'm definitely better here. Definitely better. Queen d8 was the top engine move? That's absurd. Knight h5? What? Okay, I think I, I, I want to keep as many pieces on the board as possible. I want to keep as many pieces on the board as possible. So it's basically because my opponent uh, takes about 14 seconds for every move. Uh, there's, uh, I, I have to survive like what? I don't know, 20 to 30 more moves. So the goal is going to be to keep the position kind of relatively closed and keep the tension. Not going to be easy. But I'll try my darndest. I just have to play super quickly. Well, 
Okay, that was an 18. That was 18 moves. Okay, rookie one. Just a quick move. Send the ball back to my opponent. Very nice here. I'm controlling a lot of squares on the queen side. Um, I don't understand the point of b6, like, at all. Is the idea... No, like, what do you... Bishop b7, rook c8? Okay, takes. Maybe bishop b7, rook c8, but then I take on a7. So is it bishop d7 to take? I mean, it's really tough for my opponent to move here. Bishop d6, bishop b8? Ooh! Kind of creating a little bit of a fortress here. Okay, I like that, because fortresses are very tough to crack. Unless my opponent goes like this, then I'm gonna be terrified. Because it's, it's very difficult here for black to actually break through my position. Okay, like I can play like 95, for example. I have a pretty good control of the position. But I don't want to play c4. c4 allows knight before. I'm going to wait. Like against the human, I would try to open the position. But knowing my opponent is uh, not uh, legitimate, let's put it this way. I don't want to play a 4 it's too weakening, so I'm going to go back. I don't want to create any imbalance at all. If I allowed that, there would have been knight c5. So I'm keeping it chill. We're down to 6 minutes for black. I think at some point this will happen, and that is when I'm going to get really... Oh, oh, computers hate repetition. Com Computers don't, will not repeat moves. Oh! So, we just had this position. If, if opponent goes here, it's a draw. Will the machine repeat? Will my opponent not realize it's a draw? Because bishop b7 might... Oh! We held! We held! Let's go! So one thing to keep in mind is that cheaters won't always get great positions in the opening because computers don't necessarily have an opening book programmed into them. So what a lot of cheaters will do is they'll get a slightly unpleasant position from the opening, but then the machine will take the game over. But I was able to avoid that by playing super solidly and taking no risk, and the person that was cheating didn't realize that they were going to be repeating moves. And this is how I managed to beat the cheater. All right, now I'll play black. All right, I, I, I outplayed a cheater. Take a look at that. All right, Queen's Gambit decline. Let's go. Um, let's play a6. This is a Queen's Gambit decline. This is the Magnus Queen's Gambit decline. All right, c, d, e, d. Now, the best move here is bishop f4, this kind of system. Correct. Yes, you can make the argument that this is not a cheater because I drew them, but it's... Uh, I just played very solidly. And... Uh, All right, let's go um, c6. The other thing is they might have gotten into such a bad position from the opening because some people don't cheat from move one that, uh, you know, it was too difficult for them to fight back. Nice and balanced position. Balanced streamer, balanced position. Okay, bishop e2 is a very weird move. Why did the engine repeat? The engine didn't repeat. My opponent repeated because they were looking at the computer and the computer doesn't understand that, you know, you get what I'm saying? So, wow, knight h4. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Is there f4, f5, uh-oh, no, no, if f4, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna offer up my bishop in the middle of the board. Um. Oh my god, what is rook c1? What are, like, the, the way you know you're not playing a human is they just play, I mean, every move between a certain move range. Uh, what's up, Q16? Thank you for the resub. Shout out Belgium. Uh, let me know if you ever move from Belgium, because then I'll stop shouting it out. Uh, like, every move is complete. Like, the next move will be like, a3. Okay, takes g6. Okay. The last moves by my opponent. 16 seconds, 11, 11, 15, 13, 15, 18. So, again, I'm trying to be ultra-solid. I'm playing Rook E8, and this is going to be a position that's super difficult to break through. And every move, like, there's no tactics. So every move is going to take a lot of time. And hopefully, well, I don't know. I don't know if I have seven more minutes in me to just basically do nothing. 
Um, so, you know, rook e7, rook d8. I think right now I'm playing very solidly. 92, oh my goodness. Okay, let's play a rook e7. Just quick move. Don't need to think too much. Not going to force the issue. At some point, I'll literally go back and forth. Like, because my opponent can only make progress like this. Okay, they're rerouting the knight to d3. Eric did this against me, actually. Uh, like, Eric would, would, would reroute his knight like that. Um, okay, maybe knight e4. And then queen f6, knight d6. The Karlsbad knight. All right, I mean, I, I do have PTSD, honestly. So I'm going to bring my knight to the d6 square where, where... Oh, Stockfish doesn't like the fact that I was rerouting my knight. So now we have a, a middle and end game with queen's rooks and one horse each. Probably white will move the knight here. That's very nice. And then we sort of mirror image one another. Queen f3. Okay, I don't want to play g5 because the knight is being forced there anyway. Maybe I'll double. Okay, I'm going to double. Opponent down to six and a half minutes. So far, there are no weaknesses in my position. Everything is super good. Um, okay. I don't really... I don't think there's a threat. So queen back to b8 to make sure there's no tactics. I'm good. We chilling. Structure super solid. Every move by white still taking a ton of time. Uh-oh. Now I'm scared. Poof. Okay. Um, knight f6. I'm terrified. I'm very scared. Maybe I'm going to go back like this. That's how I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to defend the base of my pawn chain with my rook. I'm just going to play super, super passive. All right, rook e7. Super passive. Now we're, we're down to five and a half minutes. The eval is zeros? Well, that's what happens when you play the Queen's Gambit decline. Like, it's just, you know, I'm playing a very solid system. Okay, rook c1. Uh, I don't know, queen d6. I'm not doing anything. I'm literally just gonna bleed the clock down as much as possible. I, I actually can do a king move. Like, it, it really doesn't matter. My, my, my position is basically indestructible. The only way, yeah, the only way my opponent can win is if they get the knight to c5 and try to apply pressure like that. That's what I, that, that's, that's what I think. That is the only way to win here. So maybe knight e4. So this stays defended and we cover, like, knight e5 is a little bit of a problem. Maybe I want, maybe I want to trade the queens, but I'm not sure. The thing is, it doesn't really matter what I want or don't want. So rook has to go here. Yeah, only move. Um, maybe just king f8. Yeah, I'm, I, what if I just go back and forth with my king for the rest of the game? At some point, white will start doing this. Because that, that, well, actually, maybe not. Because if the computer evaluates everything is equal, it might, my opponent might not do that. Okay, I shouldn't hang mate, so king g8. Maybe they're going to repeat moves again. Again, you cannot play f3 because that drastically weakens that pawn. So down to four and a half minutes now. Okay, if we repeat one more time, I, I, I probably won't repeat. But... All right, opponent is thinking, doesn't know what to do. Down to four and a half minutes. All right, big thought here by White. Desperately searching for a stockfish solution. Um, what do I do? I don't want to move anything. Can I play like rook d8? This changes nothing, right? Rook d8. I'm changing nothing about the position. Just rook d8. Chilling on the back rank. Not taking any risk. Not damaging my structure. Four minutes now for the cheater. And time is ticking. Okay, king f8 is still mate. Don't hang that. I don't want to trade queens. Um, rook, rook f8? Maybe? Okay, rook f8. I'm just going to move the rook along the back rank and bleed more clock time. Alright. Rook f8. Alright, opponent is down to four minutes. So far, every... Okay, b3 is another move that does nothing. Rook b8. All right, down below four minutes. Whew, I'm nervous. 
I'm super nervous. White doesn't know what to do. Rook a8. White is out of options. White does not know what to do at all. Time is ticking. They cannot figure out how to break through this position. <laughs> oh my god. No, the guy keeps looking at it at, at the machine, but but can't can't figure out what to do. Alright, rook b8. Ty, that's it. I mean we it's it, it it's it's it. We we got our opponent completely uh completely stuck. This is amazing. Down to three and a half minutes. I wonder if White is going to start playing on his own. Like, will White start playing moves by themselves, Or will White just lose on time? And would st I mean, yeah, look, rook, rook there. Okay, Rook D8. I mean, we're just shuffling moves. Down to three minutes. White can't break through. They don't know what to do. Because the computer will never play these moves. A human will. They'll get desperate. But the, the computer is like, well, I can't do anything, so... Okay, so rook to c1, uh, rook to e8. I haven't, we haven't had this position yet. Because white pushed the pawn a long time ago. Down to three minutes. Here we go. The final, the final couple of minutes. Don't hang my rook on c8. Thanks, coach. I got you. All right, rook f8. Two minutes and 50 seconds. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. This is never a repetition because the move b3 happened. So we had enough shuffling here. All right, two minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> Every move by White coming between 11 and 18 seconds with a couple of outliers. The guy is checking computer. Computer is not giving a response. Okay, the last time my opponent played Rook B1, oh, they never moved. They never played Rook B1, so I can basically do anything. I'm going to go Rook D8, I think. All right, two and a half minutes. I have to make sure I don't repeat the moves by accident. I want to win the game. I don't want to make a draw. So what will happen is, okay, oh, there's B4. That means that I can begin, uh, okay, but now they want to play knight c5. But it doesn't matter because that, there, there is no knight c5 anyway. There is no threat. I don't have to do anything. So now the position changed, so I'm going to keep repeating moves. I'm going to keep repeating. I'm not going to do anything. But white should play a4, b5. That, that is what white should do. Two minutes now for white. Down to two minutes. Okay, knight e5. Still don't see a threat, so I'm going to play... Uh, I'm going to play rook f8. And time continues to tick. We continue to bleed clock. Oh my gosh, this is so nerve-wracking. He keeps looking at Stockfish with no, no solutions. A3, amazing. Another opportunity to repeat moves. Every pawn move changes the position enough that we can just repeat moves again and again and again. Down to 140, okay, okay. Um, hmm. Let's go knight f6 back. Now I'm, I'm offering a queen trade. I think the best move here is queen f4. I just blundered this completely. Or queen g3. Because the point is that uh, your threat, your, 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 yeah, yeah, I was right. Uh, I'm going to go knight h5 and attack the queen. So I'm going to bleed more time off the clock. At this point, we're, we're basically in the point that if I don't get mated in the next 10 moves, we will not get mated. That's it. We're going to survive. Uh-huh. So... Uh, but this this is very annoying, I have to say. Okay, let's go. Um, oh man, rook c7, b5, takes, takes, maybe takes. Takes, takes, rook. Okay, so I gotta I gotta think here. B5 is coming. Okay, let's go rook c7. Sack the rook for the knight? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, 80 seconds on the clock. Opponent doesn't know why they're going b5, by the way. They have no idea. Also, the computer might not play this move, but it might. That's, yeah, okay, it takes. How long will it take my opponent to recapture? Do they even realize why b5 was played? No, they're thinking. And now I have to be careful here. So the move c5, rook c5 is a thing. So what if I do nothing here? Like, what if I just play the knight back to f6? So now it takes, takes. I'm worse. They're slowly getting in, but I'm still ultra solid. I think what's going to happen is takes, takes, and rook b6. Or doubling on the c-file. Takes, takes, rook b6, or c-file. Okay? We're still ultra solid. We're probably maybe leaning a little worse, but still solid. You got to go for my weakness here, and don't let me push it forward. Okay, so try... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, knight to e4. 40 seconds for white. Still absolutely no progress has been made. At some point, will white call it quits with using the engine? Will white call it quits? 30 seconds on the clock. That means you have three more moves. 
I think I am gonna sack my queen, by the way. Okay, first let's threaten mate on the back rank. Let, let's see if my, my opponent completely collapses. Alright, I definitely will sack my queen, because it's gonna take my opponent, uh, like, 10 seconds to take it. Okay, queen d1. Kaboom. 16 seconds on the clock. Do they even see that it's hanging? They're looking at Stockfish. Oh my god, rook c8. 11 seconds for the, for the engine user. He's gotta do something. I've sacrificed my queen. What are they- no, they're still cheating. They're- 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 they're cheating all the way to the end. Queen c1 is still the engine move. c5. And we're gonna get the win over the machine, baby. And we get the win. We get the win. Massive. Absolutely massive. We survive. Oh my goodness. Incredible. Wow. The sense of accomplishment as the human has defeated the machine. Humanity prevails! Yes! I played solidly, I disallowed breaks on any side of the board, and I stalled out the clock. It's like in Yu-Gi-Oh! when you run out of cards to draw. Maybe a terrible comparison, maybe a genius one. I hope you enjoy cheater content. I'll see you right back here in the next video. Get out of here. Oh, my, my opponent got banned? Really? What's his name? Noir Loca? I beat a cheater! Hey! I beat a cheater! Hey!